last 12 months have been a bit rocky. Frustrating, really. It's been the main, the main emotion I felt on a golf course. At no point last year did I feel that comfortable with my game, and that's why, obviously, once I hit the middle of the year, I decided to change coach, and then things actually went downhill from there, even more so. Just a frustrating 12 months, but that does happen in this game. Eddie Pepperell ended a difficult 2016 season at the Portugal Masters in October. A miscut at Villamora saw the Englishman finish 113th on the final race to Dubai rankings, and that meant he missed out on retaining his European Tour card by three places. It also left him facing a trip to the qualifying school and an uncertain future. The position I was in going into the last few events was because of my long game, but what actually cost me getting my card ultimately was my putting. I putted so bad. I mean, people will see what happened in Portugal and me hit it out of bounds on the last. And it was a bad tee shot, obviously, but I think that day I missed something like six or seven putts inside five feet. I had the ball move on the green, so I had a penalty shot. All went wrong on the greens for me that day. And, and if that had been different and I could easily have shot two or three under par that day, then I'm in the tournament and things are very different. So it was a bit of a bizarre, 24 hours what happened in Portugal and it was tough to take you know that's the only time I've cried coming off a golf course for since I was probably a teenager and uh, it was it was difficult no doubt about it but um, that's golf that's sport I love it like that you know I, I, I've had some good years obviously the last couple of years have been pretty good the last few years but you know it, it bites you in the bum this game if you take your eye off the ball or even if you don't take your eye off the ball because I don't feel like I did I worked really hard last year just certain things spiralled out of control and I just didn't quite have to, the game and um, lost a bit of confidence and then found myself in the position I was. But actually going into Q school, I felt pretty confident because I was hitting the ball nice. It was a course that I felt suited me and, uh, and I played really solid for six days and um, was, yeah, you know, was confident really. Overcoming his struggles from the season, Eddie managed to rediscover some form at the final stage of qualifying school, finishing eighth at PGA Catalunya to earn back the European Tour card he'd lost just a few weeks before. The only time that I can remember in the last few years where so much has rested on one tournament, really. You know, because when you're out here week in, week out, there's, well, for me, certainly over the last few years, there's, there's always been next week. And, you know, it's, sometimes it's easy to think like that. I haven't always thought like that. Sometimes I've been, I've reached a tipping point so often in a season that the next week I've made it happen. Q school was more like that. You simply had to had to do it. You know, you had to be mentally sharp on the ball, not beat yourself up, be patient. And um, there's maybe been two or three, four tournaments in, in my career, maybe that have meant as much as Q school meant. But it's nice, you know, as a professional golfer, it's nice to have to have something on the line, you know. And it's it's quite black and white. And um, it was a good experience. It was difficult, of course. It was challenging, and my mum and dad were really nervous. I remember watching them walk around the fairways and. It looked harder for them than it was for me, that's for sure. I haven't proven anything to myself, I don't think, from Q School. I've always known and believed in myself and my character. You know, I, that's, all, that's all I think Q School would have maybe shown to people, is that, well, maybe Eddie Pepperell's got a fairly strong character and he can deal with what happened in Portugal and take it to Q School and not let it affect him. And that's great, you know, I'm proud of, proud of that. But, that isn't going to make me a world-class golfer. You know, you've got to have, be a world-class player, and to become a world-class golfer, you've got to have the skill set, quite frankly, and that's what I'm trying to acquire. And yeah, I've had moments and I have my weeks where I really have that, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to construct a game that, that has that more often than not, and that's just going to take time. By changing coach last year, I, that was my ambition, you know, was to improve and to become a better player, and we all make decisions that we think are the right decisions at the time, and sometimes they turn out not to be, and sometimes they are, but... Um, I didn't, no, I didn't really prove much to myself at Q School. I, I just, you know, um, it was just something different and, uh, and I'm glad I dealt with it, I guess, in a good way. With 2016 now firmly behind him, Eddie is taking a different approach to getting back to the form that saw him earmarked as one of England's most promising young players. It's about me getting my confidence back, but I'm not, I'm not unconfident, you know. I know confidence is such a fickle thing. You know, what, what needs to happen is I need to surprise myself. You know, I need to get on the golf course, hit a shot that I feel like is a bad shot, look up and it not actually be that bad. I think I'm on the brink of that and if that can happen then it can flick, you know. That's how I think confidence comes and goes and, um, you know, it's about me doing the right things on a daily basis, which I really feel like I'm doing. You know, I'm focusing more on my backswing because I've identified that the sloppier that gets, then it's difficult for me. 
in tournament conditions. And I'm just trying to work on my putting better and try and improve my putting because it's really not been great for the last six months. So, but I know that if those two things come together and I get out there and get on a little run of birdies and the confidence comes back again, you know, I feel like I can go and shoot a really low score and contend to win a golf tournament. And I think for me, you know, what I'm trying to do more this year is immerse myself with golf again. Last year, you know, I, I, I didn't enjoy it, I was frustrated. And when I came off the golf course, I was trying to do other things like, you know, read the news or <laughs> learn about other things and, you know, have a good time in the evening. And that doesn't mean going out late, but it just means trying to socialise and enjoy myself to get myself away from golf. Whereas this year, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to think more about my game because the game's never got on top of me. So I don't need to worry about that. Uh, I never beat myself up with my own thoughts for the game. I just need to, you know, reflect every day on what's happening because I feel like I'm smart enough to then make good decisions on, on from there. And I think that's what I've done pretty well in 14 and 15. And I just didn't do it so well last year and things spiraled out of control and I got a bit lost. I know that I need to get back to involving myself more with my game because I feel like if I do that then on a week to week basis I can really learn quick and play good golf. And obviously the only thing that might spoil that is the fact that I might not get the playing opportunities that I had last year. So. Yeah, that's, I've also got that to deal with, but I'm confident I'm going to have enough opportunities to play well enough here. Yeah.